What's that smell? Is that you? Did you step on some Wilson poop on the way? Wait a second. Let me check my backpack. Oh, it's crab. Right. We got this crab down the mines in the last episode, didn't we? All right. We're going to go dump that off. I don't know if we're going to do that today, guys, but we're going to eventually dump it off here in the crab pot bundle at the community center. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, <laughs> let's get out with our day. <laughs> So, tomorrow's going to be partly cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen in the air. Okay. I do not have allergies. I should be good. Spirits are very happy. Ooh. We're going to shower us with good fortune once again. And a new episode of Living Off the Land. What could it be? What could it be? Ah, refreshing rain. A farmer's best friend. When it rains, you don't have to water your crops. Use this to your advantage. Farmer Green Bean, everybody knows that. Hey, get back here. I'm not done talking to you. Everybody knows that. Farmer Beans, Green Beans. All right, now you can go. Dismissed. <laughs> Old Kaja. All right, oh, beans are up. Okay, beans are up. Let's grab the beans. Go for the beans. Look at all the stuff coming in, guys. Woo! Doesn't look like anything's ready, though. All right, let me um, let me just get organized, because we have a lot of stuff here. Ooh, three geos. We've got to bring those to uh, Clint today, have those opened up. But look at all the stuff. My gosh. Yeah, let me just get organized, and then we'll get rolling. Okay. That looks good. All right, let's close that. Let's eat our green algae that we got underground. <laughs> Found that in my backpack right next to the crabby. Oh, it's Wilson. He's around somewhere. I hear him. And then let's go water the crops. And then we're going to get out of here. We'll go water the dog. There he is. Hey, buddy. It's a hot day. Ooh, we missed. Hot spring today. There you go. Drink up. Watch it. So, this is going to be a bit of a chore, watering all these crops, but at least we can chat while I'm doing it. So, something that I would like to potentially do, or at least a lot of you have been requesting this, or some of you anyway, is to combine uh, days, multiple days per episode. So, maybe two days or maybe even three days in one episode just to speed things up a little bit. But I'm not sure I actually like that idea. There's... It's a double-edged sword, really, particularly because I enjoy the storyline of this game, and I also like the emergent storytelling part. I like my subplots, and I think a lot of you guys do, too. And if I cut a lot out, or if I'm not recording at a particular time when I'm playing, for example, um, if I'm trying to just make progress, then I'm thinking maybe we might miss some potentially important uh, stories and subplots. Or at least opportunities as well for me. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. But for now... Oh, I should have put the darn... I should have done this earlier. Not the crab. I don't want to cook the crab. <laughs> I want to... Wait, I have coal. No, I don't. I thought I had it in my inventory. Um, so yeah, dump that in there. That'll give us at least one bar for now. And then I think while that's cooking up, we could go... Whoops. Grr. I had my inventory all straightened out, and then I screwed it up. Anyway, I'm going to throw this awesome specimen in there to sell it. And I think the Amethyst, too. Because I already gave one to Gunther, right? So that's a spare. And we'll throw that in there for now. And I'm bringing the tulips to town to give away. I know Pam's birthday today, so I want to give her something nice. And I think before we do that, we're going to go chop some wood. So I got all my chopping tools, and I want to make some progress with the 300 wood that we need for the bridge repair. So I'm going to take down some of these trees over here to clear up the stumps as well. We've got about 150 wood so far, but we could definitely grab a little bit more here before we head out for the day. Okay, that ought to do. 79 more wood added to the total. We're at 227. And I think that's good enough for now. We'll maybe finish that up tomorrow. But I want to get to town and see if we can't bump into some folks that we're looking for, like Pam, to give her her birthday present. I'm thinking about giving her a nice green bean. Sadly, um, Abigail no longer wants a green bean, so I hope she was able to prank her dad with something else. Oh, there's Lewis. Lewis, how you doing? He always hangs out under the tree over here in the shade. The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes I even put a coin in the jukebox. <laughs> a whole coin, huh? 
I like to visit once a week or so to catch up on things anyway. I see you there a lot. All right, we'll see you. Oh, what's up? Oh, that's Pam's birthday today. Right, right, right. But there's something up here. Need a refined quartz for a project we're working on. Sam. Oh, make Sam happy in 150 grand. 150 grand? 150 gold on delivery. <laughs> awesome. Let's go into Pierre's here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, something special is happening. This is what I'm talking about. If I wasn't recording here, this wouldn't be going on. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Don't act like you don't know me, Pierre. But I do appreciate the service. What? Who this? There's a strange man coming into Piers. Ahem. Ahem yourself. Who are you? What do you want? He's from Jojo Mart of it. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. It's Morris from Jojo Mart. I knew it. 50%? Hey, he's waving his coupons. <laughs> well, any takers? Oh, you dirty dog. No, hey, guys, what are you doing? Get away from him. He works for Jojo Mart, the enemy. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. You got squeaky shoes, my friend. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But you can't... But can you blame them? Jojo Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Ooh, look at that smug face. You better wipe that off your face or I will. Soon the whole town will realize that. That's dirty business practice. That is very unethical, Morris. Look at that grin. Poop-eaten grin on that face. I'm sorry. Uh, come on out, Caroline. Maybe I'll just get takeout from the saloon. Yeah, french fries and burger to go. Now I want to go talk to Pierre. Pierre, listen. I know you're having a problem with that Morris from Jojo Martin. Now, listen, I'm from the city. I used to be a mob henchman. I know how to make people disappear. Sigh. Listen, it's okay. Cement shoes, over the bridge. Nobody will ever see him again, okay? All you gotta do is nod. Just give me the word, man. Give me the word. <laughs> oh, it's Elliot. Hello, Punchwood. Yeah, speaking of cement shoes. Now, listen up, pal. You better stay away from my girl. Right? Are you well? I'm talking about Leah. She's mine. All right. I know you're making. I seen you making googly eyes at her. Listen, cement shoes. You over the bridge. Get it. <laughs> All right. Now that I've threatened Elliot and uh, gave up my services as an assassin, um, we got to go find some people. Let's go find Pam and give her a present. She's over here in the trailer. Oop, there's some more berries. Let's see if she's home. Oh. Penny! Hi! Is your mom home? We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. It's true. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. She's that one heart, huh? Yeah, Penny. Ooh, still want to chat. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Oh, Penny, if I had a book, I'd give it to you. Sorry, I got carried away there. No, keep talking. I like talking to you. You're, you're pleasant to talk to, but I have something for you. I'm going to give her a flower. I'm going to give her a nice pinkish tulip. Yeah. You know, Penny, see you working hard over here with your mom. You've already given Penny. Oh, no. <laughs> She's so nice. She doesn't want me to give her anything else. She's like, give it to someone else. All right. See? She's so thoughtful. She thinks of everybody else. Anywho, let's go. Oh, you know what? Pam's over at Jojo Mart. Oh, let's go to Clint's real quick. Before he closes. Oh no. I think he closed at four. I gotta hustle. I wanna get these geos processed. I'll grab those daffodils in a second. There he is. There's my man. Uh, listen, Clint, can you give me a discount? I got three geos here. Rock. Come on. Ooh, what's that? Thunder egg? Oh, Clint. Yeah, my new best pal in five rocks. Tell you what, keep keep the change. You can have the rocks. What is this stuff? It's a mineral, Thunder Egg. Gunther can tell you, oh, it's going to go right to Gunther. Shucks, I was hoping to keep it, but no, I can't. Thanks, Clint. 75 gold for that, huh? 75 gold for stuff that I got to give away. Or rocks. All right, we'll go give this to um, Gunther right now. Gunther, sup? Got something for you. I don't know what it is. 
but I'm gonna put it over here with the other minerals. It's a mineral, right? I'm gonna do one row at a, at a time. Looks nice with the other ones, doesn't it? You got anything for me there, sir? It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? You drive a hard bargain, Gunther. Sheepers. Just gave him something. Man's got a short memory. Let's go see Pam and give her a lovely green bean. <laughs> oh, there she is! Pam! Wait! No, a punch would be behind you! She's just talking to Abigail. Listen, I got something for you. I know it's your birthday. Stop. Stop. I got this lovely green bean. I've already given Pam a gift today. It's for her birthday! Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, I tried to give her two. Okay. Happy birthday. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. What's going on, Pam? You're in slow-mo. Blah. I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. Oh, that's why you're in slow-mo. You got a headache, a little hangover. Sorry to hear. Yeah, she was on a little delayed reaction there. Hey, Alex. How you doing? You have a dog or are you just staring at the thing? They're starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. Looking mighty pumped. All right. Keep it up. 5.30. I want to get up to the Adventures Guild and see if we can get anything for reaching level 10. I'm not sure. You know what? We can drop off this crab, too. We might as well, so I don't have to carry it around. Here we go, into the creepy old community center. Oh, the little blue guy! Hey, buddy! You know exactly where I have to go, don't you? That's kind of scary. He knows what I'm doing. There we go. Once we get that bridge built up to the other side of the beach, I think we can start collecting some of these other goodies. Or maybe these have to be caught on a fishing pole. I'm not sure. Alright, let's go. Let's get up to the Adventures Guild. I think it's open. It's only open part-time. And it might already be closed. Drat. And it's so far away. Oh, look at Robin and Demetrius. Having a nice afternoon together. I'll go interrupt. Hi, guys. Robin, how are we doing? You're always welcome to visit us. Even if you aren't shopping, you know. See, she's so sweet. She doesn't mind that I've been interrupted. And Dimitri's just like, what are you doing here? I'm having a nice romantic time with my wife. It can get pretty lonely up here in the mountains. Oh. That's why I have a husband. All right, this is getting awkward. I'm leaving. Oh, Sebastian! Sebastian, wait! He's a good kid. Sebastian, you're out. You're not playing video games. I snuck into the caves last night and got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone, okay? Yeah, I won't. Sorry to hear that. You want me to take a look at it? I'm going to give him a daffodil. He's a good kid. Here, go put this in your house. He's like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man, I better make it. Oh, man, we're going to make it. Oh, man, we're going to make it. We made it. He's back. I am. Marlin, how you doing? I need a new weapon because my sword is so bad. 250 for a wooden blade. Hold on. Let me talk to Gil. Maybe he'll give me something. Gil? Come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Wait a minute. No, I reached level 10. They don't care. You don't care that I reached level 10. Well, I came all the way up here. I'll buy the darn blade. That does look pretty good. All right. You can go try it out real quick. Aha! Blue stuff. Got more amethyst. Or amethyst. Amethyst would make good gifts though. Oh, cave carrot! Ooh, that's special. Now, let's try our new weapon on this little slimy. It's three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits, seven hits, eight hits. I have no idea if that was faster or slower than the other sword. <laughs> this could be worse, I don't even know. Okay, back at the farmstead. And it is before midnight, so it looks like... Today might be a pretty good day to do two episodes. We're in before midnight. Nice. So maybe I will go to bed tonight. And, oh, level two mining. Nice. Plus one pickaxe proficiency. Oh, that's fantastic. And we can now craft staircase. Okay. Out of stone, I guess. Got a little money back. Oh, 100 gold for the, uh, the amethyst. That's pretty good. So, yeah, why don't we do that? Let's just continue and do a whole nother day. All right, guys, we're going for it. It's now Friday the 19th, 6 o'clock in the morning. We're going for it. We're going for two days. 
per episode. We'll see how this format works out. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure today was supposed to be a little warm and breezy, but there's going to be some pollen in the air, right? We'll have a little extra good luck today. And that's it. All right, let's get outside and let's go collect some more wood. And sure enough, pollen in the air. Look at that stuff. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I'm not allergic. Anyway, we got mail. For, for, former Punchwood? No, I'm still Punchwood, trust me. <laughs> Farmer Punchwood, I have a request for you. I need fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Could you bring me one? Yes! Yes. In fact, Jody, I have... You know, oh gosh. I never see Jody. I like Jody. She's so sweet. She's married, unfortunately. But um, she lives down south. And I'm thinking about maybe we'll go visit her. We got a couple of deliveries to make today, in fact. Alright, let me take care of the crops here. I'm just going to water them up. You guys don't have to watch that. And it looks like we have another cauliflower here, too. Awesome. So we don't have to get rid of our other one, because we only had one. I like to have one in stock at all times for occasions like this. Somebody needs one. So anyway, let me get the stuff watered. Then I'm going to chop more wood. I have almost 300 wood. And then we shall continue there. Because again, since we're going to do two days in one episode, I'm going to have to cut out a lot of this stuff right here. So be right back. Stay tuned. Whew! I'm pooped! Time for a salmon berry. They're magically delicious. <laughs> and 25 energy a pop. Awesome. Let's have a few of these. And then we'll be on our way. So I chopped down a whole bunch of trees. I got all the wood I need. We have our refined quartz here. We have our cauliflower. And I think we're ready to rock. Let's grab all that wood. 312 wood to be exact. And now we can go rebuild that bridge and see what's on the other side. Ooh, what's that sound? Is that you, Lewis? You need, a, you need another depend? I'll go buy you some. Did you know that Marnie hates clay? She finds it absolutely nasty. I learned that one the hard way. <laughs> Perfect. Now we're, we're starting to get tips about people's likes and dislikes. I love it. Well, at least the dislike anyway. Hi, Evelyn. Evelyn comes out here and and uh, takes care of the flowers there every single day. Oh, look, <laughs> Sam, I got something for you, buddy. You're doing a, you're doing a kickflip, aren't you? You know, I used to be the skateboarding champion back in 1984. Uh, can I give you some pointers? Come on, step off there, man. He's trying to do a kickflip. All right. I got oh, did you do it? I think you did it. Hold on. Here, I got your, uh, your thing. Hey, thanks a million, Punchwood. I should have known you'd be the one to take this job. Of course, I'm the prospector. Sam's trying to do He's still trying <laughs> Keep it up. You'll get it sooner or later. Let me know if you need a tip. Hmm. Jody's not inside, so... Sam, where's your mom? I got some cauliflower for her. Seems like you're going to have cauliflower for dinner. Hey, buddy, stop. Did I ever tell you we used to live in the city? Hey, I'm from the city too, man. There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of noisy and hectic. It's hard to say which is better. Yeah, I hear you, man. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, I gotta grab that money. Thanks. Um, all right, I gotta go find your mother. So, have a good day. Well, I don't know where Jody is, so let's go fix up the bridge. Oh, look who it is, Elliot. Smelly Elliot, how we doing? Oh, here come the kids. Let me go say hi to the kids. Hey, Vindog, what's up? Oh, no, Mom's making little soup tonight. No, uh, well, wait a minute. Your mom? Wait, your mom is uh, Jody, right? Hold on, I forget. <laughs> These people belong to Jody, Kent, and Sam. No, yeah, I think uh, Vincent lives there too. Yeah, well, I've got her cauliflower. Maybe I shouldn't deliver it to her. Then she won't be able to complete the soup. What do you say, even dog? Anyway, hi, Penny. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. All right. One time, I found a really old piece of pottery. I brought it to Gunther, and he said it was over a thousand years old. Oh, well, that's amazing. Uh, kids are getting away. You better go. Okay, we'll see ya. Right, let's go build that bridge. Oh, look, it's Willy! Willy! Heading to the saloon? If you really wants to get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. Of course, Willy. I would have it no other way. Oh, look, 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 a shell. It's a clam! Everybody loves a clam. And what is this weird thing? It's a cockle. We got a cockle and a clam here on the beach. Strange Bruins on the beach. <laughs> There's Elliot's place. 
Anybody have a flint and tinder? It's locked. Alright, let's go ahead and build this thing. So what do I do? I just walk up to it and click. Yeah, 300 pieces of wood to fix the bridge. I've never done this before. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, hold on. Let me get my hammer. My nails. And I did it! I did it! And I've got 12 wood left over. And look at this, guys. We unlocked it. What are these? Coral. Wow, there's a ton of it. Oh, that's fantastic. We can probably sell these, right? And give them away. And my guess is we're going to need this in the fish tank somewhere, probably, too. Okay, or maybe not. I didn't see it there. <laughs> but I'm going to grab as much of it as I can. Oh, there's another bridge. Awesome. Nice. How many is that? Eight coral. Anything else here? You guys see any worms? I could probably fish it. Let's, you know, let's just drop a line in over here. Actually, maybe we'll do it off the bridge. Let's see what's over here first. Ooh. Nothing. I'm just going to right-click stuff because you never know what's going to pop out. I'm going to fish here in the ocean see what happens. Max! Nice! Oh, oh, we're getting a bite already. See, nobody, nobody's been over here in a long time, so we're going to have awesome fishing. Awesome fishing. We got a lunker! We got a lunker! We got one! Oh, I haven't fished in so long. I need practice. Oh, 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 got him. Got him, it's blue. It's an anchovy, a six-inch anchovy. Um, Somebody wanted an anchovy a long time ago, was that? I think it might have been Haley. Oh, look, I missed a shell. I missed it. A muscle. Almost missed it. Man, I never would have heard the end of that in the comments. Let me just make sure I get everything. It's 8 o'clock. Let's go see if we can catch Jody at home now. Oh, you know what, though? They probably already ate. It's 8 o'clock. I hope I didn't fail her. The door's locked. It's... Dang. Oh, no. 8 p.m. They just closed. Jody! It's Punchwood. I got your cauliflower. Oh, I screwed up. Well, looks like I saved old Vindog, anyway, from having to eat um, lentil soup with cauliflower in it. So there's a bonus for him, anyway. Just gain some street cred with my little buddy. Um, but I can bring that to her tomorrow, right? Oh, there's no time on this. This is just like a timeless quest. So I can do it any time. Oh, great. We'll just do it tomorrow. So, hey, I'm thinking of stopping in and talking to Le Leah, but you know what? We don't have time in this episode. Because I have to work two days into this one episode. So I'm sorry, guys. See, this is one of the uh, one of the side effects, I suppose. Of putting two in one and trying to keep this these episodes at a reasonable length of time. You know, 20, 25 minutes-ish. So I'm going to just have to bypass that. Yeah, so let me know if you would prefer doing a uh, daily format like I did before. Or... Um, or two per day like like I'm doing now. Should I? You know, I'm going to keep that anchovy. I was thinking about selling it, but I'm not going to sell any of this stuff, actually. Because the community center is going to want it. But I will sell six of these coral. I don't really know what they're good for. So I'm going to save two. That seems about right. And just toss a daffodil in there. I already got one of those. Looking good. There we go. We gotta hop into bed. We gotta get to bed now. And time's a wasting. Good night. Here endeth the nineteenth day of springeth year oneeth, and look at the money we made from foraging. Yowza, four hundred and eighty gold for the six coral. So according to my calculations, that's eighty apiece, right? Wow. Oh, we're gonna have to go back there again. Alright, that's it for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.